So we'll go through the muscles of the upper leg. There are four uh, muscles that make up the quadricep muscle group. We'll start with the rectus femoris, which runs straight up the front of the quadricep. And we've got the vas lateralis, vasus medialis, and vasus intermedius up the middle. So there's one on the top and then three side by side. When we turn the leg over, we've got three muscles on the back, and they refer to the three uh, muscles of the hamstring muscle group. The one on its own is called the biceps femoris, and then there's two, one on top of the other. The bottom one's called the semimembranosus, the top one is called the semitendinosus. An easy way to remember that is the semitendinosus has a T for top, so the semitendinosus is on top of the semimembranosus. As we rotate to the inside of the leg, we've got these three muscles that feed into a common insertion. This common insertion is called the pes anserinus, or nicknamed the goose's foot, because it's like a three-pronged goose's foot. Uh, to help us remember the order of these muscles and which ones are involved, there's a rhyme, the say grace before T. Uh, the S, so the say grace, the, the S is the sartorius, the G is the gracilis, and the T stands for the semitendinosus. So say grace before T, sartorius, gracilis, semitendinosus. On the lateral side of the leg, we've got two muscles that feed into this common insertion called the iliotibial band, often referred to as the ITB. First of the muscles is the gluteus maximus, and the second muscle is called the tensor fascia latae. Directly underneath the gluteus maximus, we've got the gluteus medius. Underneath the gluteus medius, we've got the gluteus minimus. On the inside of the leg, the only uh, remaining muscles that we have, can see on this model are the adductor muscle group. The longer, sort of thinner one that comes down is called the adductor longus, and the shorter one is called the adductor brevis.